In this video, I wanted to share with you a little bit of a pro tip with double Mabel zone defense that you can apply to any, pretty much any formation in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos every single day to help people get better at Madden. If you're looking to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also, if you want to get any of my eBooks, we have nine offensive and defensive eBooks uh, for Madden 23, as well as several updates to those that we've released in our Patreon page. Um, it's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon. And like I said, uh, or it gets you access to everything, gets you access to all the ebooks, all the updates to those ebooks as well, as long as you're a member. And like I said, it's only 10 bucks. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description uh, to sign up. But I want to show you kind of a key tip um, that I think is really, really underrated that most people don't know if you're playing zone drops. So um, I'm just going to use, let me see, I think I have Hot Rod Master. Yeah, I do. Um, so I'm just going to come out and smash return. And then on, on defense, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my coaching adjustments for this and then I'm going to show you uh, a key key play that you want to use this year if you're going to be running match cut or not match but uh, zone drops so spot drop zone drops this is basically where we're communicating to our defense hey we want you to drop to a spot and zone drops is where we can actually tell them the specific depth of the spot that we want them to drop so I like to go ahead and put this on play ball I like to put this on conservative and then typically flats generally speaking they play more to the sidelines so when we're trying to stop those deep crossing routes, deep corner routes, oftentimes it's better to utilize deep flat zones. So we're going to put our flats at 25 or 30. Curl flats, we can either leave these on default or I also like to put these on five. Um, this is going to help with some of those quick underneath routes, flat routes, drag routes, stuff like that. And then hook curls, we're going to put these on five. You could bump these back to 10 um, in this year's game because they do break on the ball really well. Um, so that's just, you know, you can do that as well. And then this is really important here. Um, so on default, this, especially if you're on next gen, if you're not on next gen, don't worry about it. This does not apply to you. But if you're on uh, next, if you're on next gen, you want to put this to match. Um, and the reason why is because number one, your zones will react better to the routes that are on the field. And then for today's tip, we're going to show you that when you call a match coverage and you put zone drops like like what we're doing here, you make zone drops manually. This match still does apply to certain zones on the field, and we're going to show you that in this video, okay? So the coverage, I'll just use Big Nick Lover G to illustrate this. Big Nick Lover G was the first defensive ebook that I released this year, and I still believe is probably um, the most versatile and adaptable defense. So again, if you want to get the ebook, the, the uh, Patreon link is down below. But the play we're going to use for, mat, or for uh, zone drops is cover six. And the reason why we want to use cover six is because there's a matching principle within it that is really powerful for defending any kind of bunch formation, any kind of trips formation, um, really any kind of formation where you could have the threat of a deep post route on the backside of your Mabel defense, okay? So cover six is the call here. It also has basically with, you know, it, it kind of already has um, a Mabel coverage kind of built into this, this play. Um, it's really easy to set it up. All we have to do is we're going to shade our coverage underneath. And what you're going to see is that's going to turn these uh, both sides into hard flats. Now, remember, in our zone drops in our coaching menu, we put the hard flats on, um, on 30. So they're going to drop back deep. Okay, so I like to have you could have this base aligned as well if you wanted it to be. Okay, so from there, all we need to do is now we just need to kind of complete our Mabel or our double flat. So we're going to take the linebacker on the right side of the screen and we're going to put him into that curl flat. So he's going to take away the flat pass and then we're going to use her right in here. And then we can drop one of our defensive linemen on the backside here to complete the double Mabel, right? Double Mabel just simply kind of in Madden terms means double flat. We have a deep flat to take away the corner and we have an underneath flat to take away the, the flat route. The value of this is what you'll see right here, where if I did a flood concept to the bunch side, which is a very popular way to pass the football this year, you're going to notice that this double flat is going to guard the corner route on the right and the flat route on the are on there as well. Now, traditionally, some people like to do this out of kind of a cover three look. Um, and so it might look something 
you know, kind of kind of like this, right? Something like this. Um, the problem with this, especially when we talk about having a backside post route or something like that, is it creates these lanes within the, that I could throw, um, you know, kind of a bomb. And, and you'll see it right here with something like this or, you know, and what you'll see here is this post can kind of go into these little pockets deep down the field against a good cover three defense. This is one of the reasons why I like cover six so much is because now what we can do, uh, now what we can do with this is still have the, the value of a Mabel coverage, but now we have this backside deep half zone, which in cover six will match a skinny post across. So if they ran a concept like this, you'll see that this deep half will actually match. Even though we have zone drops, you see he will match that post and completely take that backside route away. So it's very helpful for defending any kind of trips formation like this, that deep half put as simply as I possibly can. He just plays better in this kind of defense. So this is my favorite way to run zone drops in Madden 23. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Those are my settings and how I would, would run it. Obviously you're gonna adjust any defense based off a of tendency, but this coverage gives you kind of a foundation to work out of and why I think cover six is one of the most important plays in any defense this year because you can use it in both the match coverage game, but you could also set zone drops and use it as a zone drop defense that's very effective for handling the backside skinny posts. Guys, if you want to learn how to run all this stuff at a high level, I'd really encourage you to get into Patreon. It's only $10, and it gets you access to all the ebooks completely broken down in depth, what I like to do against certain formations defensively, how I like to beat the man coverage meta offensively, how we like to handle all the different kinds of ins and outs of the schemes that are in Madden 23. So if you want to check that out, the link is down below. Thanks for watching the video, and I really hope to see you guys join our Patreon page. Uh, we'll see you over there.